then going to switch over to this camera here. And let me turn that audio on. Um, there we go, that audio is on. And now I need to enable the audio on the switcher. And we should be hearing an be echo. Hearing an echo. There we go. There we go. Turn off my mic. Take my ears out because otherwise I will go insane. Hearing myself on a delay. And that is that. All right. Let's. Uh, whew, this is this is this is a rig. Uh, oh, it, it is an autofocus. There we go. Okay. So this is a rig. This is what we've got. So we are broadcasting wirelessly now. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of how this whole thing works. Uh, for those of you who have never seen the show before, everything is going through. Let's see if I can. Uh, you can't really see it up there, but everything is going through this crazy switcher up top. And now I just totally messed up my exposure. That's probably because I'm in the dark. That's right. I turned all the lights off over here. Ha! We'll just, we'll just stick around over here. How's that sound? Um, Everything goes through that big switcher up on the roof that I realize you can't really see here. But we are we are truly wireless right now, which is really kind of exciting. So, you know, there are no strings on me. So let's just take advantage of this by going through a little tour of this setup here. So what I was doing here was a just talking head, just me. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you the setup that I built yesterday. So let's start with the camera. Go around over to here. And that is, in fact, the Lumix S1. There we go. There we go. Nice and focused. Excellent. Thank you, GH5. Um, so there is the Lumix S1. I got the XLR1, XLR1 on there for the uh, audio input. And it is rigged up to a teleprompter rig. I'll show you that in a moment. That coming out of the, XL, of the S1 is HDMI cables going into the Atomos. I'm, I didn't actually record this on the Atomos. I wanted to record internally. But the reason I have it on the Atomos at all is because I wanted to be able to uh, check bars and make sure that my, uh, my levels were right. It is then feeding out of the Atomos into a much larger, let's go around to the front again, into a much larger screen, just a nice big kind of, I don't know, 28 inch or something display so that I can see clearly what's happening there. So I can see what I would look like. So let me turn off my house lights in here. There we go. So that gives you an idea of what the set would look like. And I've got remote control here to control the camera so I can start stop recording. And of course that will also activate focus. So there we go, that's focused. Right in front of me there, you'll see, well, you probably can barely see because it's a little on the dark side. Uh, let's see, let me actually just crank up the ISO a bit here. And, oops, let's get out of that mode. Crank up the ISO. There we go. A little bit bright there, a little overexposed, but that's okay. So you can see on there, there is a mirror that we're looking at. That's where the iPad would go. Um, there's a mic and a couple other things there. We'll, we'll go take a look at that in a moment. Let's bring the ISO back down. I have in front of me, the this big reflecting panel here which is a, a nice way to bounce a little extra light back into my face and then two big diffusers which are i'm going to turn the lights back on so we can actually see things around here the two diffusers which are we've got light blasting through bring the exposure back down a uh, couple of aperture what are these guys the tri-8 s's beautiful lights but i wanted it softer so i'm blasting them through that big diffusion panel Obviously, those things are all on light stands, weighted and all that. Uh, the audio was handled by a Rode NTG2. That is my shotgun mic on there. Yeah, good luck trying to find that to focus on camera. Well, you get the idea. There it goes. Look at that. There's the Rode NTG2. So that was, uh, that was my audio on there. And then for the background, which you kind of saw when I was sitting down, but I'll just swing the camera around this way. Uh, pretty meticulously set up, but one of the fun things is this RGB ring light, which I've shown you in the past. Let's bring the exposure down in there so you can see the colors. And I've got this on an automatic power cycle so that it is just rotating through and giving me some fun color for the background. So that is that setup. So now, check the live comments. Everybody says this is good, I think, or I think we're working well. Now I'm gonna take this rig outside. So this is the part where I have no idea um, is this going to work? And I don't know if once it breaks, I'm not going to be able to tell. So I'm just going to go outside and we'll just see what happens. So let's, uh, let's go out the front. We don't often go out the front door. Let's go. Look, my Mac Mini came back. Right. Oh, it stopped raining. Excellent. Exposure down. There we go. Alrighty. So I am outside my front door. Let's just turn around and kind of face backward. There's me. There's my business. Crossing the street, trying not to get run over. Excellent. Again, I have no idea what kind of range we've got here. 
I don't know if this is working or not still, but I am now across the street. I've closed the door to my studio, which probably was not very smart. I probably should have left that open because um, it's a metal door as well. But I guess we're going to call that a day. We're going to head back inside. I'll see what you guys are saying. So for those of you watching live, tell me in the comments if this is working or not. Tell me if you're seeing it or not. And we will know what's going on there. Here's an interesting point as well, actually. So the way that I've rigged this up, I've got my, I've got the HDMI going from... There we go. Um, in fact, here, let me just do this. I'm going to switch back to that and turn that off and turn that mic on. back on. Okay. okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. No, that's still delayed. There we go. That should work. Okay, good. So, um, first of all, let's see what's people saying in the comments. Amazing. Works all the way. Just a little strange sound on the other side of the road. Interesting. Strange sound. I wonder what caused that. Huh. What kind, of, what kind of sound were you hearing? Some kind of interference? That's odd. But the picture never interrupted? It was very curious. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so I've rigged this up in kind of a weird way, which I'm not sure what the, if there would be a better way. So I've got the HDMI going into the transmitter first and then from the transmitter looping out to the display. The display that I'm seeing here is delayed, I guess just like... Actually, let's see here. It's kind of a halfway between... The two. So it's again halfway between real time and what you're seeing. But there is a delay on this monitor. So that does make, like when I was walking in, the shot was a bit crooked. I was trying to straighten it out, but I kept overdoing it because I kind of forgot that there was a delay in there. So I could go through the monitor first and then loop out of there because this has a loop out. Yeah, this has an HDMI out. So I could loop out of the monitor into this. And that might be a better solution. Kind of interesting, but hmm, I don't know. Um, Bart says it worked fine. Can you tell if it cuts? You can tell if it cuts out, but watching the status by sta watching the status light on the TX on the transmitter. Okay, so they're interesting. So he's saying watch the status light on the transmitter. Um, okay. Hmm. All right. Let's try that. Let's do it. Let's do it again. So let me reset the setup here. So let's go back to that camera. Um, turn that microphone back on. And there we go. That mic is on. Enable that enable audio. That audio. Turn off my wireless microphone, and we're good to go. Oh, somehow I changed. I bumped my white balance while I was doing this. Let's fix that, shall we? Um, where is auto white balance? Come here. There we go. Okay. All right. So I am going to watch that transmitter light. So it is green right now. I'm going back outside. I'm going to go ahead and close the door again. Dial down that ND so we can actually see things. There we go. Okay, link light is still green. Let's just, let's just go for a walk down the road, and we'll see how far I can get. So link light is green. I'm trying to make this a little darker so you can see better. There we go. Link light is still green. Link light is still green. It's a lot of stuff to watch. The link light... Oh, there we go. I just The link light is now flashing. Okay. It's now flashing green. So now let me head back. Still flashing green. I'm walking back. Still flashing green. I'm walking back. Still flashing green. I'm walking back. Still flashing green. Walking back. Walking back. Still flashing green. It has not... Oh, there it is. Now it's solid again. I'm just outside my door. Let's go back inside. And let's see where we ended up. So let's see how my experience... Mimic yours. That, on, that, on. that off. So, what were you saying when I saw it starting to flash green? And Degley Media says that's pretty good range. Um, work well, some noise problems near the white van. Okay, when the light was blinking. So, when the light's blinking, you're getting some noise issues. Bart says it may have been flashing, but the video signal was fine. It must have just been a warning. It goes red when it cuts out completely. Okay, so that's good. So, if it's flashing, you know that you're probably okay, probably get closer. The audio does seem to have been a problem a couple times, though. Interesting. Um, and you're, so, so you're sure Creative Media is saying that the flashing green is when the audio crackled. Very interesting. Only static was when it stopped flashing green. Tomas saying only static audio when stopped flashing green or when it started flashing green. So when, when I said that, the, um, that it stopped flashing, did the audio, was the audio perfect again or was there still some static? Video didn't drop at all in the second attempt. Very cool. 
metal building line of sight should be real good. Um, yeah, this is great. Well, there you go. I'm pretty impressed. So I'm not sure how I will incorporate this into the everyday here. The camera that I would normally use as the studio camera is um, not something I can use for this for two reasons. One, well, at least not without buying another adapter, but this is what is usually the studio camera. Um, this other Blackmagic camera, and it is SDI out, first of all, so I'd have to adapt to the HDMI, but also it requires power, so I'd have to have some kind of a battery rig on here to really truly make this wireless and moving around. But I gotta admit, it would be extremely handy, but there would be the audio problem. The reason that I use this camera is because it is SDI. The, the purpose of that is that I have real-time audio sync, so just like this camera that I'm on right now, um, if I turn this into wireless, it would no longer be in sync. So. I think that the wireless would be used for something like what we just did. If we want to take a camera outside, I don't know. For me, for my situation. Obviously, for doing any kind of wireless monitoring, um, it could be super handy. You want to set up a director's monitor somewhere else. Uh, that's just awesome. There's a lot of different reasons to have a wireless monitor hooked up. But overall, I think this is pretty good. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. Um, we are going to do a very brief Q&A after this. So um, for those of you not watching live, just wait a minute. The Q&A will pop up right here. We'll see you in a moment.